this force is acting on a point 40 degrees off the x-axis, and it is 500 newtons of force. Let's move that label to the side. Is another force 200 newtons at 0 degrees from the x-axis. Let's try and make this look a little bit more exact. Now I build a parallelogram. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. This angle's at 40 degrees, and that's a given. How much is this angle? That angle's got to be 180 minus 40, so it's 140 degrees. Okay, let's clean up a bit. This angle's 40 degrees because alternate interior angles of parallel lines are equal. Let's move the 200 newton force upwards. And there we go. I put headers on them so we can see that they're arranged now tip to tail. Now I draw a resultant from tail to tip even though it's a little skewed and get rid of all the clutter. We draw a resultant, but what is it equal to? What's its magnitude? Well, let me do a redraw of this now and label all the sides. And again, what is the magnitude of this resultant? Well, the law of cosines will give us the answer. But, but, I hate the law of cosines. It's too hard to remember. Nope, not hard at all. Just got to remember two names. Uh, Pythagoras and the comedy team name called Abbott and Costello. Pythagoras, we know, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But you're going to get a minus if you forget these two. Abbott and Costello. You see? It's easy. The big C means the angle opposite side C. Okie dokie, we got the equation. Let's fill in the variables now. A squared plus b squared gives us 290,000. 2 times a times b gives us 2 times 500 times 200. And that's 200,000. The cosine of 40 gives us this number. 136791 dot yaddy yaddy yaddy. 290,000 minus 200,000 times cosine 40 gives us c squared. So I gotta raise it to the one half power, which is to say I gotta take the square root of that number. And that gives me this, which I round off to 369.9. So there's the magnitude of the resultant, 369.9 newtons. This is George Bull. Please share and rate this video, and good luck.